Sorry, in today's video guys, we're with this brand new Lord Slug banner here, and whether you should summon or skip on it, right? Now, there's a few things to sort of look at before, I guess, fully judging we, like whether you should summon or skip or not. Um, one of the big things is, especially for global, I would say, is it looks like we like begin like jeering probably in the next few days, I think. So I won't probably pull up the other side just yet. But if we have a quick look at the news, I'm pretty sure the sales reset. A little bit earlier than um, JP's one. So I just want to double check in game first. Um, where are the sales? So yeah, it ends for us on the 11th. But I'm pretty sure JP is like a week or so after, right? And usually if we get new discounts, there's a new banner, right? Now, obviously if Jiren isn't next, the next banner for Global and JP, because we are now synced, uh, would be Heroes, right? But Heroes is until like the 25th or something like that, around about the 20th. So, it's a bit weird that the sales are going to reset a bit earlier. So, for me, that could mean Jiren's going to come out now. Well, soon. Which, is everything going to be bad? I, by the way, this, that's how you can tell. So, 21st when we should say, uh, or 22nd, is when the hero stuff should be live at least. Okay, that's when the banner goes away. Actually, let's double check another thing as well. Just I'm getting a bit off topic here. The 12th, this resets. Yet again, this Kaya banner does usually reset. Same thing when a new banner drops, right? So, I don't know. It looks like Durian could be next, right? Unless they got some other trashy banner dropping. But at the same time, JP's one is like a few week, like a week or so later. So, at the moment, like I said, we don't have confirmation Durian is next. But it's a bit weird that some stuff's ending a little bit earlier on Global than JP, right? So... If you look at it that way, if you're really hyped for Jiren, and you know you're not really as hyped for like Lord Slug, it might be better to go down that road, like, and you know save up your stones that way. But at the same time, I don't know if I'd recommend a summon for Jiren. It may sound weird, but you have a few things to look at as a global player right now. So obviously one of them is Heroes Club coming up. Like I said, should be up very or well, coming up very soon. So these banners that we got now aren't really worth it at all. Now, I'm not saying go absolutely ham on this Heroes banner coming up. I mean, Heroes are usually like, pretty good units. Like, the ones they had last year are definitely still very good units, like, you know, still to this day sort of thing. So, it's not a bad idea to summon, I would say. But at the same time, it's hard to fully go, yet go as deep as you want in the banner sort of thing, right? But, yeah, as we, like I said, we all know Heroes does it pretty well. So, I think it would be a good idea to do a few summons. Yeah, okay, like for example, we got him. This Vegeta here, very good unit still. Not sure how he goes in like the hard difficult content, like going you know, against Bulma and stuff like that. But that's what makes it a bit harder to sort of say to skip for, right? But the reason why I say for global is different this year, because like last year I probably recommend going like really hard on the banner. But the reason why I say it's different this year is we're gonna have anniversary same time as JP, right? Which is obviously the start of next year, which is still a fair bit away. You know, I, I understand that point. But I'd rather get as much stone saved up as possible before, you know, anniversary, right? Because anniversary is obviously the biggest time for Dokkan. New unit, like, really good new unit, stuff like that. So that that's the one thing to sort of keep in, your, like, keep in the back of your mind when you look at these banners, right? So, now we've got that out of the way, let's look at the banner itself, right? So, Lord Slug doesn't look like a bad unit to me at all. I think he's pretty good. He's not... Like an outstanding unit sort of thing for me. Like he's not like mega busted stuff like that. Um, but he's still good, right? He's definitely, I'd say, I don't know if I'd say it's worth summoning for for him, but he, he can help out in a lot of teams there, right? Which is obviously one of the main things I sort of look at with these characters is how well are they going to help out? You know, obviously he leads a new uh, category, demonic power, so that's obviously very good. Now we probably will get bust for this very soon, I would say, because you know obviously diamond stuff coming up. Well, diamond stuff dropping whenever. Right, so I think he will have a purpose there with demonic power, but yet again, we'll have to wait and see. You know, if you look at the banner like if you look at Lord Slug this way, is it worth it just for the hit like the diamond units? I would say no. Because we'll most likely get more like, you know, Diamond Goku, stuff like that, Vegeta's. More the good side rather than the villain side, if that makes sense. But obviously we will get both. So he is good, but I don't think he's worth summoning for just for him, sort of thing. Uh, we have the banner here as well. Yet again, banner units, I don't really judge on these summoner skip banners. And the main reason is, is because they'll be out in the next banner, 
right? Maybe not the next one, but probably the one after, I would say. And a good example is if we have a quick look at this banner, this mine is already in the pool, right? <laughs> For Lord Slug, so that just shows you how fast banners can actually come out. I mean, I think it's a bit different because of the sink and stuff like that. But still, banner units drop fairly quickly, so I don't really judge it like a banner off of just a banner unit as well. Um, then, I wouldn't say it goes downhill from here. Goku Black can still be very helpful and stuff like that as well. Still a very good unit. Not as good as he once was, obviously, like the power creep and stuff like that. But he's still a really good unit to run, right? Um, these guys are still okay. I'd say that they've dropped off a fair bit. Uh, Trunks, we, we don't need to talk about him. Um, Kale as well. Kale's starting to drop off a fair bit. Bojack is... I'll, I've said before in my summer video, but I think he's probably going to get an easy A this celebration. Yet again, it's not confirmed, but I have a gut feeling he probably will. And then, same with this, right? So we got Beerus here, right? Which is a bit of an odd sort of selection, because he's not in demonic power, is he? I know he should be. He's got pointy ears. So let's have a quick look. No, okay, so he's not... Not on there, okay. Um, but yeah, I think he'll probably get a super easy day of the celebration, which obviously be very good. And the main reason why I say that is it's a bit weird for him to be chucked in this banner when they could have put another better unit in this slot. So, it's a bit weird there, right? Uh, and we've got this Piccolo as well. Yet again, he's dropped off a fair bit. Cooler, yet again, was very good at one point, but now he's dropped off. And that's pretty much the whole banner, right? So, there's not really many good units at all, I would say. Unless, like I said, this Bojack gets an easy A, and this Bruce gets a super easy A. Then the banner will look a bit better. But then I still wouldn't recommend people to summon just for these two as well. You know, getting easy A's. So, at the end of it, I would say it's a definite skip. In my eyes. Because, like I said, Lord Slug you might be able to use in some content here and there. But, I still don't think it's worth wasting your stones on this banner. Even though there is pity. You know, I understand that. I still don't think it's worth something for. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Uh, if you need any more help or advice, just uh, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help as usual. And uh, yeah, if you guys are you want to see more, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next time.